Oh, hello there. My name is Jane Pierce. I'm getting ready for church this morning and I'm sorry, but I'm not having a very good day today. I'm still mourning the loss of my three children. What a challenging life it has been for me so far. I was born March 12th, 1806 in Hampton, New Hampshire. My family name was Appleton and I was one of six Appleton children. I was taught at home and had quite a talent for piano. One of my piano teachers wanted me to use this talent when I got older, but I decided not to. I often read religious books and I rarely read anything else that did not involve religion. I met a man named Franklin Pierce. He was youthful, a handsome man, but my parents didn't respect him because he often went out drinking. Nevertheless, he married anyway on November 19, 1834. Together, Franklin and I had three sons. Unfortunately, they all passed away. My first son, Franklin Jr., died when he was just three days old. My second son, Frank Robert, died of typhoid fever when he was four. But my last son, Benjamin, died in a train wreck in front of our eyes just days before Franklin became president. It was so tragic. The births and deaths of my sons took an enormous toll on me. And so I've been receiving much support to get through each day from my older sister and my aunt. Being hostess is also difficult for me. I even passed out when I heard Franklin had become president. I do not like politics at all. I think politics are dirty. Since my dear Benjamin died just a few days before Franklin became president, did not move to the executive mansion until March of 1853. Therefore, I did not see my husband being sworn in and I could not take on the role of first lady as I was so depressed. My aunt-in-law took the role instead, especially greeting all of the guests for me. In fact, it took almost two years for my husband and me to actually receive guests ourselves. Well, since I'm still grief-stricken, I now spend my days writing letters and notes to my deceased son, Benjamin. Oh, I wish he'd never passed on. It is just so difficult to get through one day after another. Nowadays, I wait and see what each day will bring. I hope that one day,